Hello everybody and welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, welcome to these videos where I tell you about some of the work that I've managed to do this week. Um, before we get into that, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, basically, without regular users funding my work, I really wouldn't be able to spend as much time on Inkscape as I do. And um, it's really thanks to you that uh, I'm sitting here. Um, although I will say this week's special sponsor has to be one of my neighbours who threw out this gaming chair and uh, I get to uh, replace my old creaky chair with, with a new one. So thank you, neighbour who will never watch this video and uh, who has technically spon sponsored my work. Um, okay, so what have we got up to this week? Um, it's been a bit of a interesting week, mostly bug fixes and um, you know working with the bug accelerator program to reduce the number of issues that we have uh, for the 1.3 release. Uh, but we're getting to the point where uh, there's a lot fewer bugs to fix. Uh, there's not that many people reporting issues with the release, which is very good. Um, so uh, some of the issues that I fixed were to do with the with the grids. Um, there was a bit of work done on the grids, and some of the some of that work had basically created issues, um, essentially with whether the whether the uh, numbers were update dated correct correctly and had the right scaling, uh, whether the visibility was maintained, and to do with the update stack. So when you um, created a rectangle and then undid the creation, for example, and grids would disappear, uh, all of those issues have been fixed. Uh, while I was there, I decided to create a refactoring. And this is where essentially I reorganized some of the code to make it better for the future. In this particular case, um, the problem with the with the uh, grids dialog is that it's inside of the document properties dialog and it's all sort of smushed together like a big cake, uh, a delicious cake. Um, but if you imagine trying to uh, you know, replace a single raisin that's like right in in the middle of the cake. Uh, that's kind of the pro problem that you end up with when code is all <clears throat> mixed together. So the work was essentially separating that out, making it more logical and consistent. And then uh, this creates basically almost no change for the user. It actually fixes about five issues to do with updating various uh, properties. So like if you started changing stuff in the XML editor, and then that would be now reflected in the uh, grids di dialog. So it's a lot more consistent. This work obviously will have to wait for 1.3.1 because it's not a bug fix and we're in feature freeze. Um, the XML editor, I also fixed some signaling is issues and that was actually quite hard because um, the XML editor is one of the oldest pieces of Inkscape. It's like ye olde code. And um, honestly, I'm not really much of a C programmer, and so I struggled, should we say, with the with the code review to essentially get it right so that the memory management was correct. Uh, that fix will go into the release, though, and I'm happy with that because uh, essentially it, it it was essentially a problem with if you made the XML dialog float. Uh, the signals would become detached and you wouldn't be able to use the XML editor anymore. Uh, and it would even cause crashes. So, you know, but with both of these pieces of work, hopefully in the future, there'll be some more design work or some more, you know, actual programming that will improve actual, you know, interfaces for users as well. Um, okay, so that's most of the work that I got up to this week. There's also some other stuff where we're hiring for the GTK4 developer. Um, and I've been tracking the AI importer work to see how, how that's going. And we've been doing some, I've been doing some work with the uh, elections. So we're going to do some, we're going to run some elections for the, for the Inkscape uh, project leadership committee and the website runs the elections. So I've been trying to make sure that those elections will run smoothly, uh, running some mock elections and uh, fixing some of the issues with emails. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, instead of talking about some of the things that has been going on in the rest of Inkscape, I've released a interview that I did with Thomas Holder at the Hackfest. Uh, it's a separate video, just like I did last week with Marks. 
and uh, I hope 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 you enjoy it. Um, I will see you all next week. Please do get in touch if you want to uh, report an issue, especially if you're t- testing the alpha. And uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, it's uh, it's important to me that I have essentially the uh, the space to be able to work on these issues, and your help would definitely be appreciated. Thank you.